For our next trip, I think uh, we're gonna go to Jamaica! <laughs> My skin looks terrible, so please ignore that. I look awful because of all the flying. I wanted to introduce everyone to the crew who's coming on this vacation to Jamaica. So, obviously, my name's Michaela, and we're all gonna talk about how we feel about takeoff. And how I feel about takeoff is I love it. I think it's so fun. I love that it like forces you back in your seat. It feels like a ride. It's so exhilarating. The sound is so loud, and I really like it, and I just felt really quiet. Hi, um, my name is Anisha. How I feel about takeoff, I'm personally not the biggest fan of takeoff. I think it gives me a lot of anxiety because I know that I have like a certain number of hours or minutes left in the trip. Like it's just beginning and the plane ride itself I'm not the biggest fan of, but I think when we're landing, that's my favorite, favorite part of um, any trip in the air. So my name is Bianca, and my take on takeoff is, it, it never gets any easier. I, I, it gives me anxiety every time. <laughs> I just like having my feet on the ground, even though I love traveling, and I always travel. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gary. I guess my take on takeoff for the plane. I don't really, really have a comment. Just because as soon as I sit down, it's something in my air that they put I'm out like a light. straight off the plane, straight off the bus. It took us seven years to get here, but we are here and I'm so happy. This place is so pretty. The beach looks so nice. And this is my first meal since Anisha blessed me with a Trader Joe's uh, Kung Pao chicken last night yeah. at midnight. And it is like dinner time now. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so we finally got into our room. For some reason, we had like a lot of trouble just trying to check into the room. We had to come back like three times and it wasn't until like the third time, which was like an hour into check-in that they finally were able to like give us our room key and then our room key didn't work. So we had to go back downstairs or, or somebody had to go back downstairs and get that fixed. But now we're finally in here so I can give you guys a little bit of a room tour. Okay, so first of all, this is our bathtub. This is all stone walls. We have a hair dryer. This is the sink area. And this is the little toilet area right here. Nice and secluded. There's no transparent wall Anisha talked about that um, usually is there that can make hotel rooms a little bit weird. And here's the shower. It's beautiful stone, which brings us out here. Here's the closets. And this is the king size bed right here. It's very pretty. It has like this canopy thing going on. We have a little bit of a TV. We've already put our stuff down over here. Then we have this mirror, very cute. We have this little coffee area. You know how I love the coffee area every time we go to any type of resort. But yeah, here's the little chill out area with a couch and everything. Um, we've got here and then Anisha. <laughs> We have the balcony. The weather is not the best right now, but literally look at our view. And the balcony area comes with this little chair and table. And my first roommate! My very first roommate on a little bit of a vacation. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Yeah! I'm so, so excited. It'll be great. Okay, so clearly I still look fresh off the airplane, so I'm going to get ready. Okay, so the lighting here is oh the lighting is so awful but oh my gosh it literally makes me look elderly it does not look like that in real life i do not know why that's happening So that's only like three hours of sleep, but for whatever reason I woke up, I felt great. So I got up and I went to get breakfast. It was fine, it was okay. And then I went to the pools. I've been tanning all morning, but I've been like using a lot of sunblock because the sun feels like an actual laser today. Like so, so powerful. I think I really might actually get sunburned even though I've been putting on sunblock every like one and a half hours and like a ton of it all over my body. And if that happens, then there is just no hope for me in not being sunburned this week because that is the maximum that I can do, honestly. Waiting on Anisha and Bianca, because we want to try to go kayaking. I'm with Gary. I wish it wasn't so overcast. I wish it was sunnier. I mean, it was sunny this morning. I should have taken video this morning, but yeah, it's so bright that I have to like keep wrinkling my whole face <laughs> to, to keep my eyes open. I don't know if you can hear me, but there were some interesting choices 
dresses for the lunch buffet today and I wanted to just talk about it. Okay, so this is what my plate looks like today. There's a lot of food on it because there were a lot of things I wanted to try. Right here, I have some goats, goat meat. It'll be my first time probably eating goat. There's pumpkin, which I just think is cool. I don't know if I've ever had like cooked pumpkin that wasn't like a pumpkin pie. So that'll be good. Right here is the seafood rice. So um, we'll see what that means. There's jerk chicken, obviously something that you have to try when you're in Jamaica. Um, tuna salad with like a lot of other vegetables and stuff. Uh, cauliflower, regular chicken I think. I got Swiss cheese. So yeah, really excited. We are on day three, technically, even though we arrived in the evening on Monday, so maybe sort of just day two. I'm at breakfast right now. Last night we went to like the disco thing that they had and it was really fun. I felt like they had good music last night. I didn't think they had good music the night before, so I really liked that. Really sunburned. Oh my gosh, Anisha texted. She's alive. <laughs> I'm really, really sunburned, so I'm kind of like embarrassed of it. Um, but I'll be using like a lot of sunblock. I used a lot of sunblock yesterday too. It must just be the sun. It was really fun. I didn't like that you could see all the seaweed underneath you like in HD and it was kind of scary. Like all the all the stuff underneath because there was like sea urchins and stuff. Like it wasn't just rocks and sand like it is in Maine. It's There was like a life, there was a whole biome down there. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. Um, but then we sat in the water at the beach and just chatted while the sun went down. It was really nice and yeah, it was just a great time. We played a game together uh, before going to the disco. It was just really fun. about my day yesterday obviously by now you can see <laughs> it is raining i was really looking forward today to tan and some sun i did not get that today <laughs> it is what it is we made the best of the moment we were just chilling by the bar here we got a lot of drinks it stopped for a little while we started to swim but yesterday i guess the highlights were we did uh kayak uh, kayaking so fun got to like see like around the resort a little bit on like the ocean side so pretty um and then we also had the hibachi night i thought that was so fun because it was so good then we went to the club but yeah so i guess the only downside of today is the rain <laughs> i need a sign to get tan Okay, it's Thursday now. It's not raining right now, which is good. Pretty early in the morning, I wanna say like around nine maybe. But 
This is scaring me. I do not want it to rain again because yesterday it rained so much and we couldn't really do like anything because of it. Um, making the most of it. I really hope it doesn't rain, but if it does, we're just gonna keep doing, but fingers crossed that it does not rain. Last night, we all played games together. We played Truth or Drink. We were just talking, chatting, and then we went to the disco. We, I think we ended up going home a little bit early last night so that we could try to get some sleep so that we could wake up a little bit earlier today, which obviously worked because we are out here before the rain. Hopefully, like I said, it does not rain. Hopefully it just stays like this all day or it gets sunnier, um, but we will see. Okay, so we just had our brown night. We got a reservation for tonight's dinner to be at the steakhouse, which is called The Night. And now we're going to review the food that we got at this restaurant. So for me, I had the Caesar salad as my appetizer, the filet mignon as the entree. Um, I will say that the portion for the filet mignon meal seemed pretty small when I looked at it. The steak was really good. It was a little bit under, under, uh, it was a little bit less cooked than I usually have that steak cooked, but that's okay. Um, but it tasted really good. And I feel full from it, even though the, the meal was kind of small. There was mashed potatoes with it. There was like little carrots, little roasted vegetables. Um, so I really liked it. Um, so I would say, I would say a solid eight out of 10 for the steak. And then the Caesar salad at the beginning, it was really small, but I thought it tasted good. And they had like these weird fried things instead of croutons. So I would say like a good seven out of 10 for the appetizer.
Okay, so I had the grilled chicken and fries. It was super yummy, super, super good. Um, we still have to order dessert. Oh no, just kidding, we did order dessert. I got the apple strudel with ice cream. Um, so far I've had uh, some red wine, which I guess is the house wine. Super, super yummy. Uh, everything was just really great. And yeah, I'm just excited to have dessert now, so. Hey guys, so for um, my meal, I for appetizer I ordered a Caesar salad. I would give that about a good 8.5 out of 10. Thought it was really good. The croutons were different compared to the US, and the diff I think in a good way. Really liked it. It was good. Entree, I had the filet mignon, and I thought that was really delicious. Even though it was a little, I usually order my steak medium. It came a little bit more medium rare, but it was still delicious. Um, mashed potatoes was great. I would rate it, I was give it a nine out of 10. It was really good, delicious, soft. Um, so yeah, I really liked it. Um, and then for dessert, I had the cheesecake. I would give that an 8.5 out of 10 as well. It was really yummy. Hey y'all. So, I had the Caesar salad for the appetizer. I would rate that probably about a 7 out of 10. Uh, the croutons were a little different than what we've had before, but they were kind of like homemade, breaded, and fried, which is different, but was good. I had the uh, filet mignon and the grilled chicken. I would give that 10 out of 10. Really, really good. Grilled to perfection, seasoned, great. And then for dessert, I had the the apple strudel with ice cream, and that was good, decadent, flaky. Um, I would give that a eight out of ten. Friday. It's our last full day, which is really sad because just it's been raining so much and I feel like we just didn't get to do, you know, the full vacation that we wanted to do, but that's okay. We actually have an excursion plan for today. We're going to the Blue Hole, I think they called it. It's like, it seems to be just like cliff jumping and exfoliation area or so. I don't know. I don't really know. All I know is that it was a uh, pretty cheap and I was like, ah. That's my language. So yeah, so I'm just getting a few quick rays in. It's still literally overcast every day, which is really sad. But we are doing the best with what we've got. We're here already, you know? The wind is picking up. I hope that it doesn't start raining again. I'm prepared to book it because I've had to pretty much train myself to book it out of the rain. Now it's fine. We are happy. So let's be here. Anisha's sitting next to me, but she just wants to go to the bathroom. So yeah. So we're back from our excursion. We had gone to the Blue Hole, like I said. It was actually really fun. I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was. I was brave and jumped off the thing twice. It was so scary. It felt like it took forever to fall from it. I don't know, it was just so so scary to me. It was so mentally scary. So I like had adrenaline for a long time afterwards. To go around the table and have everyone share kind of how they met everyone in this friend group in a way. So I'll go first. I had actually, um, I think we had just taken a midterm of some sort in our fall OD1 semester. I think it was uh, one of our friends 
named Arlette. I'm and she basically said like, yeah, I'm actually studying with a group of people for optics after this. You can totally join us if you want. And at the time I had been studying by myself for like several days. So I was like, yeah, I would like, I would love to hang out with actual people. Everyone was super nice and welcoming and also just so full of life. Like everyone was like laughing and like talking about the test with so much liveliness that it was just, it was like so funny. And they like accepted me so easily. And then like we helped each other through certain optics. If people didn't understand things, we were like talking about it and studying together. And so, yeah, I like basically had studied with like a bunch of strangers for several hours in one day and it was actually super fun it was perfect and then after that i felt like i felt like i was a i was a friend of theirs so yeah so we just got back from going to blue hole in ocho rios and it was so so much fun i definitely drank a lot of water and i have never jumped from such a height before it was crazy i i'm also like not a fan of like roller coasters or adrenaline so like that was the most adrenaline rush thing actually that I've done in a while. I think I met Michaela. I actually don't know if she remembers, but I actually met her in the electronic classroom the very first day. Um, I don't remember what exactly we were talking about, but it was kind of when everyone was trying to figure out like class with COVID still around and um, like coordinating with Zoom and doing in class person um, classes in person. And so they had this electronic classroom, which was like the overflow classroom. So. If you didn't reserve a seat in time for the main classroom, you could just stay there. I remembered you, and then I think I connected the dots when I later like actually spent time with you. For Gary, I think I met him when we were studying for optics. It was me, Emily, and Bianca, and Gary was there, and it was the first time. And we had we ordered pizza. Yeah, we did order pizza. That was really fun. And I and I remember like we had been talking about the CSC, and the first thing like that I heard from Gary was. Yeah, if you ever want to partner, like, let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll go practice. I was like, yes, yes, please. And then Bianca I met, like, literally the first day of orientation. I think she was, like, near my row or near somewhere. Um, but we actually happened to have um, lunch together. Her, Emily, and I had lunch together on the first day of orientation. And I actually I really liked that she laughed at my jokes. So I just felt a kinship. I'm just really glad that we get, we've gotten to, like, really explore our friendship more and, like, spend more time with each other and get to know each other more and... Hopefully, um, we get to do more of these trips and get to know each other even more as family. Okay, I'm eating a sausage, but quick amendment. The first time I met Gary was actually because he was in my optics lab group. So we, we actually were optics lab partner group members before. <laughs> Hey guys, so we just got back from our excursion. Uh, it was really fun. We went to the Blue Hole in Ocho Rios, in Jamaica, and it was really exhilarating, like a lot of adrenaline. Like we jumped off a cl uh, cliff in front of a waterfall. It was really pretty. Then there was another um, path we could jump again, and it was really fun. It was really nice. Pretty views. I guess I had forgotten. Not I did forget, but like in terms of the order. So like for me, I thought that the first time meeting Michaela was at Arlette's and then we wanna to go to the club after. I remember meeting her, she was like all in her like black jumpsuit, really pretty, long hair. And then she just, just like loved to drink, it's just good vibes and everything. So I was just like, wow, this girl's, this girl's, this girl's nice. And she's a good time. Um, but we actually, now that I think about it, we met before when we were studying for optics. I remember she was so helpful. Like, I was calling her the, the Kaplan tutor because she was so good and she knew her stuff and like helped me answer questions that like I didn't know so that was really helpful. Um, Anisha, I met Anisha first day of orientation. She was literally on the wall and I was at the end of the chair so like her row like because of COVID they skipped each every other seat so there's only three people in that row and I just remember feeling an energy kind of like vibrate towards that corner and like I just knew at that moment this girl is like I don't know if you guys ever have that moment that the energy is so strong like that's what I felt <laughs> so I knew this girl's gonna be my friend and then after orientation was done we went had lunch like we found our way the energy brought us together we sat down we were chatting and it was it was good vibes Gary I met Gary first weekend at the uh, barbecue and I remember he came up to me and was just like I know you and I'm like I have never seen you before <laughs> so I was like is this, is this guy hitting on me or what 
but yeah, no, he ended up we ended up applying to like the same school, so he had seen my profile on the other school's page. So I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, he's not trying to hit on me. He's just like similar face. But yeah. Yo yo, came back from our excursion at uh, the blue hole. I honestly didn't even know that we were gonna be jumping off a cliff. I thought it was just like, you know, a little sightseeing tour. And then, um, you know, you'd be able to take pictures and all that good stuff, just something real touristy. But it turns out that they said, oh, we're jumping. I said, wait, what? That first hole was about 30 feet deep. And then there was another one that we jumped after, which was about 20-ish. So overall, very fun. Glad that we did it. I met Nikita in our optics lab group. We just happened to kind of sit at the same table. And I'm grateful because I had no idea what was going on at first lab. Uh, the professor was explaining the lab for like the first half hour, 45 minutes. I did not understand the, the word this man was saying. I'm just very grateful that she was there because she kind of spearheaded it and was able to help us out. Anisha, I met at a study room. I think we were studying for optics along with Bianca and Emily. And I remember seeing her and I was like, oh no, she she seems like a real cool gal. And I was like, oh, if you ever if you ever wanna practice or anything like that, but we had a clinical skills exam, I was like, yo, just let me know, I'm always down. And as for Bianca, I met her in person the first week of our barbecue that we had at the school. It was like a welcome barbecue event, formally. But prior to that, we had applied to the same school. We, me and her, were in a, a Facebook group. Um, it told me that I had one person that was mutual. And so I was like, mutual? So I clicked on it, and lo and behold, Bianca. So then when I first saw her, I was like, hey, uh, I think I know you. And at first she was like, wait, no, I, I don't. And I was like, no, 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 I do. And I think it's it, and I let her know that it was, um, because we had like a mutual group between both, um, Facebook groups, uh, which was surprising to say the least, but I guess, you know, it's fate. Um, the lighting here is so bad, but we will bear through it. We're here at our last dinner together at a resort vacation. I wanted everyone to share 
three vacation essentials, so three things that you look for in a good vacation, and one packing essential that's kind of uncommon that people might not think of. The idea for this comes from Anisha, so credit to Anisha. <laughs> My three vacation essentials, I would say, are if you're gonna go with people, make sure that they can be drama free, you know. Don't mind that. A lot of the time people think like, oh, I wanna go on vacation with friends. Uh, I just wanna invite like all these people. But I think that it's important to evaluate who um, you're going on the vacation with because some people can't handle being around the same group of people for hours and hours and hours every single day. So make sure that you've got friends who are like, you know, mature, communicate well if things go wrong are not mean to each other they're thoughtful about what they're saying to each other and like just you know mature people basically number two for it to look pretty aesthetically pleasing i think that uh i i just really like it when i walk into my hotel room for a vacation it just looks nice like there's actually good furniture there's good decorations there's like a balcony we, we try to get balcony rooms because we love the scene going over the balcony and like i mean bianca and anisha were out here looking up maps of the resorts to find the rooms that had the best just view out of you know what i mean so i feel like a big part of going on vacation is just looking at stuff so you want to get what's it called just good aesthetically pleasing things number three is good food if we can't go wrong with good food when you like the food it's good one packing essential that's kind of uncommon would be would be those skin tight sort of tight gym shorts to go underneath your dresses um, because on vacations i learned from bianca that you just wear a lot of dresses you want to dress nice you usually try to dress really cute every day and you just wear a lot of dresses and um, especially if you're wearing bathing suits all the time you're in the water a lot so your skin's getting wet all the time you if you are like me get chafing really really bad chafing and um i learned that really hard on the bahamas cruise because I had the worst chafing ever. And I think that now, that for this one, I had packed s some tighter gym shorts for every single dress, they go underneath, you don't notice them, and they take care of the chafing, they make everything more comfortable, it's just the best decision ever. Hey guys, so a packing essential that I always have to bring anywhere and everywhere I go, it's what it's gonna be like the top 10 things I put on my list, is Vix. <laughs> and because I just, it just I just feel like it makes me breathe better. Like I put on my nose, my neck, my chest. It just make me feel like it's gonna fight any any virus that comes my way, or bacteria. It just makes me breathe better. Very Latin thing. Vix is all over my house. So <laughs> three things that a resort has have for me to really enjoy and have a great experience. Um, definitely one would be nightlife. I think that's super important. Um, you know, get dressed down, do makeup, look pretty, all for, you know, the pictures, but you also wanna, you know, go into a place, there's good vibes, music. Um, I would say beach. I love palm trees, I love the ocean, so beach's gotta be there. Lastly, I would say a location that has sun. Like a lot of sun. Like I like to get tan, go back to, um, my home different person tana irrecognizable <laughs> um so yeah my packing essential would probably be plastic bags like a lot of plastic bags um especially like for dirty clothes it, it just makes things easier to organize in the room having more plastic bags would just be super great for when you're packing and trying to go like trying to go back home you can just put all your dirty clothes into a bag into certain bags and you know what needs to be laundered um and what you haven't worn so you don't have to Three things that I would want out of a vacation is I would want heat, a lot of sunshine, a lot of heat. I don't like being cold ever. I don't like rain. The second thing would be some place that has a good pool and a hot tub. I think one thing that I wish that this resort had was a hot tub, especially like in case there was a time that it would you would get cold. Um, it would it would have been really nice to just have a hot tub for us to like sit in, and I think that was something that we definitely lacked. Lastly, would just be probably um, good drinks. I think like having the drinks would be really nice. Not having long lines also. One thing I did like about this resort is that the lines weren't as long for getting drinks, so. Three essentials that I'd look forward to a hotel. Uh, the first one would be definitely nightlife, you know? You wanna get dressed up, go out, you know, have stuff to do to, uh, for the day, what events that the hotel may have planned, but definitely you wanna have something at the end of the night, you know, after you have your dinner. So, you know, some, something kind of chill with the vibes. 
uh, for you know you and uh, the group of people that you're with. The second thing would be, I think, a hot tub. Because in this particular resort, we had the unfortunate instances of rain and no hot tub. Rain, cold water, and nowhere to go other than to kind of suffer it out in the pool if you want to go for a swim. And the third thing, which is kind of the most important thing to be honest, is good food. You can never go wrong with good food. One essential that you always want to pack, it's pretty common though, but sometimes can be overlooked, is a pair of sunglasses. The last thing you want to do is be somewhere where it's really, really bright and you're going to have to be squinting the entire time you're there. And also you want to definitely avoid getting early cataracts. breakfast our flight leaves today at 7 30 but our checkout is at 12 and it's like 10 ish now a little bit past 10 so we're pretty much at the end of the line at the end of our time here which is very sad because it's a beautiful day today it's literally not raining we had so much sun this morning lovely lovely day no rain so it was good to at least end it on a good note um and for what we did last time was at our last breakfast together we all said where we would go next and we know that last time the correct answer was Bianca. <laughs> she got Jamaica correct and so my vote for this time, I think that we will go to Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos? <laughs> Which I apparently just pronounced wrong so I'm amending it. Unhappy Saturday as we're leaving today. And it is actually a very, very beautiful day. Clear skies, super blue water, a nice little wind. Uh, but anyways, trying to predict of what will be our next vacation destination. My vote would be for Mexico as our next vacation destination. I'm going to keep the same as my prediction from last year. It's going to be Cozumel. So my prediction of where we'll go next will probably be, I would also say Mexico, but I would say Cabo. Hey guys, so I predict, well, I have two predictions. I think one of them is going to be, it's going to be either a cruise or an all-inclusive resort. So in terms of cruise, I think it's going to be another cruise in the Caribbean in spots that we haven't touched yet so for all-inclusive resort I think we would go to Mexico specifically Cancun or Cozumel so, yeah we shall see Because look at this. It's so beautiful. Are you day. kidding? For our very last day? No. We should be out there. I know. It's so sad. I feel like whenever we have a trip, or we've had like three trips so far, this is our third, 
but at the end of the last two, I always sat down on the balcony. I had to have my sad balcony time because it's so sad whenever the trip ends. I get really like, uh, like I wish we had a little bit more time here. Uh, this was so fun. I don't want the happiness and joy of like being out here to end and like go back to optometry school where I'm studying all the time. I feel like it's even stronger this time because of like the rain and how the rain really affected our trip. And it's actually warm because it's actually been cold like the past few days. It was actually warm right now. It's it's extra sad because I'm like, this was what our vacation was supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like for me, I was like, this was what I wanted for all of the days of our vacation. This would have been beautiful. This would have made the vacation so, so nice to have this type of weather during the entire time so that we could do all the things that we wanted to do. Because like I said, when it was raining, you couldn't do anything. There was like nothing at all. And all the activities pretty much are like outdoors kinds of activities like paddle boarding and kayaking and all that different stuff. So, and tanning and going to the pool, like all that stuff you need to be warm for. And we were just freezing all the time. So extra sad, extra sad balcony time. <laughs> So I look literally awful right now, but we are still at the Montego airport. We were supposed to depart at 4.30. Our flight got delayed to 7, and then it got delayed to 9, and then it got delayed to 5 a.m. tomorrow, and then it got delayed to 9.30 a.m. tomorrow, and then it got canceled. So <laughs> they needed to put us in a place, and we were really upset because we were like, oh crap, we have school on Monday, like this is stressful, like this is a huge, huge delay for this flight. And then, we got to where we have been placed for the night and it just so happens to be the resort that Anisha and Bianca were looking at. Together, <laughs> all inclusive, five star resort. Um, it's called Ryu, Montego Bay. It's been like five minutes from the airport and then we're gonna give us a shuttle and everything. And yeah, no, that's exactly what we were thinking about um, when we were deciding between uh, resorts. The only reason we didn't choose that resort was actually because it was on the more expensive side. We were trying to be yeah. budget friendly. So, I don't know, it kind of worked out in our favor, so, you know. So now we're going to experience another resort, yeah. so uh, I guess we extend our stay in Jamaica a little bit longer, and fingers crossed we get back in time for school, though. All right, we just got in the room, so I'm going to do a quick room tour. All right, right when you first walk in, we've got this big door right over here. This seems to be the bathroom. Um, we haven't been here. Excuse the like crack on my phone camera case, but okay, looks good. Already the bathroom shower head is attached to the wall, which is more than what <laughs> either one could ask for. This is what the rest of the room looks like. Looks like we've got a little coffee table area right over here. Mini fridge. Oh, we have a mini bar. Okay, fancy. We have a mirror. We have got, oh, cute. They're two individual beds, technically. Yeah super duper wide um television right here we've got couches more mirror decoration and then i'm gonna check out the outside i mean we're on we're on floor zero so 
not a view, but that's okay. It's nighttime. We're only going to be here until 730, but pretty cool. My appearance has gotten so bad that I need to do just eyes up for this next update. But it is the next day. It is Sunday. Oh, we were supposed to be back by yesterday, but that flight had been canceled, as I already said. We stayed at Ryu. It was fine. It was fine. But truthfully, we were all just tired. I didn't have any more clean clothes, so I had to rewear clothes that did not smell the most fresh. I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday for the airport. Not as fresh. I would like to be home. I would like to take a nice shower, put on a face mask, and be home and sleep for about 20 hours straight. But the thing is, because it's Sunday, I have school tomorrow. So I can't. But yeah, we'll be home hopefully at like 3 p.m. today.